Hi everyone. In today's video, I will explain and also show you the process of using a ship's hydrometer to check the density of the dock water in which the ship is floating. As you all know that the density of the dock water plays a very important role in ship stability calculation for the ship's officer. In that regard, it is essential that when you reach the port, you or somebody that you ask does check the density of the dock water in which the ship is floating as you cannot assume that the density of the dock water is a seawater density like 1.025 or fresh water. It could be any density. Now, um, important thing is please make sure that you watch this video till the end because after listing out the process, I will also show you a very short video in which it is demonstrated on how to use the hydrometer to check the density of the dock water. And I especially want to thank Chris Nelson for shooting the video and making it available for us to use so that the seafarers and mariners can learn from it. In order to check the density of the dock water, you have to use a bucket or a container in which you fill the dock water. Now it is important that you use the bucket to obtain a sample of the dock water in which the ship is floating. Now you lower the bucket with a rope as you are standing in the jetty or the wharf and you collect that sample of the dock water. Now that sample has to be collected from a point on the ship which is free of discharges. So definitely you should not be collecting that sample from the stern of the ship where it is easy for us to collect. You will not do so because the ship could be discharging certain bilges or uh, dirty water or some oil residues could also be there because of which then the water will become polluted and that will not be the true density of the dock water. Avoid collecting it from any other discharge points as well. So we preferably try to collect it from the midship section of the vessel where you can lower the bucket and collect it because the midship section normally doesn't have any discharges. You can collect it from the forward part if the forward part doesn't have any discharges either. But we preferably try to collect it from a part where the water is free from the discharges from either your vessel or any other vessel as well. Fill the bucket up to 80 to 90 percent with water. It should not be 100 percent filled with water. It will be about 80 to 90 percent filled with water. And I'll show you in the video what I mean by that. And then you suspend the hydrometer in the bucket lightly. Just lower it lightly and give it a light flick. I will show that in the video as well. Just give it a flick. Just give it a turn or just give it a flick with your uh, index finger or your thumb because that helps to break the surface tension created by the water on the hydrometer. So once you just flick the hydrometer, the hydrometer then breaks that surface tension and then allow some time for the hydrometer to settle. And once it is settled and it is not bobbing anymore, it is just settled with the water level at a certain reading, then read the density figure from the hydrometer. The hydrometer has a scale with different density figures graduated on it. Then you can read the scale, but make sure when you're reading the scale, avoid any parallax error. Keep your eye at a very parallel level as much as you can at a parallel level with the hydrometer so that you can read the hydrometer directly without any error. So now that I have listed the precautions and the process, I will show you the video in which the process will become much clearer to you, much easier for you to understand and uh, understand what I was talking about in theory. So keep watching this video and let me know what you guys thought about the video and whether you learned anything from it or not.